Despite the great progress the world has experienced over time in terms of gender equality, there are still significant challenges to overcome in ensuring women are fully included. The education sector is no exception. The gap is still very present and on various levels in terms of ownership of digital devices and access to the internet, to digital literacy skills, as well as the capacity to make meaningful use of technology. The good news is that since both technology and the concept of gender are shaped by society, they're also reshapeable. So how can you as an instructor help affect change in this area? We have talked about how the amount of diversity in a digital classroom can be way higher than in traditional offline settings. Also, since the definition and understanding of gender varies from society to society, and even within them, it isn't always the easiest topic to navigate. But this diversity is also our very best advantage. How? The biggest barrier women face in accessing education are social cultural norms that create and reinforce gender roles and stereotypes. For example, about the different physical and cognitive abilities of men versus women. Traditional education settings tend to be pretty homogeneous and end up perpetuating these norms. But since digital classrooms are so often not confined to just one cultural horizon, the very nature of the setting kind of forces you to be confronted with and consider different perspectives. We are well aware that with these short introductory lessons, we cannot possibly give you a comprehensive understanding of this very complex problem. But here are two main strategies to help you. First of all, reflect on your invisible assumption and stereotypes, and second, act on them. Here is your first exercise. With your future classroom, write down a short statement about one of the topics you're discussing, for instance about the political philosophy of Jean-Jacques Rousseau. Then ask your students to rewrite the statement, imagining that they're speaking now as a persona from a different gender. Analyzing together the differences that emerge or do not emerge will help you and your students uncover the invisible assumption you may have about gender. A friend of mine recently shared with me another great exercise you can use in your everyday life to help you develop a sensibility for gendered assumptions. It is a great exercise because it doesn't put the focus on political correctness, what are you supposed to say or not in the classroom, but instead teaches you how to cultivate sensitivity for the impact of what you say on other people. It goes like this. Every time someone in the classroom says something that is hurting or offending you, you simply reply with, ouch. The other person can then say, oops, and then can keep on going with the conversation. This way, you acknowledge in a non-violent way that something made people uncomfortable without having to step back from the conversation. And at the same time, you give people a chance to come back to and discuss the ouch issue after the lesson is over.